Hi guys, it's MLC here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building here in the world of Sulani, and today I am building a community lot, which is of course a resort and spa, as you guys can probably tell from both the thumbnail and the title. I've been wanting to do this build for such a long time, basically ever since the Island Living Pack was released. I thought this would be such a cool build, not only to build, but also to visit and, you know, just do some gameplay. So I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was so much fun to build and play test and all that kind of stuff. And it ends up having four different huts. So there's four different rooms that you can stay in. They're all exactly the same. I did copy them over, um, you know, room by room. So hopefully that doesn't bother too many of you guys. I know it will bother a few because yeah, it might be better if some of the rooms are different, but I felt like a place like this would probably more or less have the rooms exactly the same and they're pretty minimally decorated because this is a hotel. So I didn't want there to be a lot of like personal clutter that wouldn't necessarily be there. So that's why I did that. Um, but other than that, there is a pool area. I watched this amazing tutorial by Kate Emerald. I will have it linked in the description. I was trying to figure it out and I couldn't. So I decided to search how to create a swimming pool in Sulani and I found her tutorial. It was really helpful and yeah, I definitely recommend that you guys watch it if you're curious on how I did it. And also just check out her channel in general because she's an amazing builder and she also has a ton of other tutorials that are also really cool and very helpful. So yeah, check out the um, description box so you guys can find the link to her channel in that video. And also next to the pool, there are some some cabanas with some lounge chairs so you can lounge by the pool and tan and have a drink and just basically do all that kind of stuff that I think you would do at a fancy resort like this. Um, there's also a stage area with a dance floor so you could hire somebody to play the guitar um, or just play the stereo there and pretend that there's a band. Um, but I thought that'd be really nice. There's of course a bunch of dining tables so you can sit and eat and visit and there's a bar area. I really wanted the bar to be like the main attraction of the build because I wanted most of the Sims to be outside and around the pool. So I am going to upload it to the gallery as a bar, but it would function as a spa too. So if you prefer that lot type, then you could definitely switch it over because the entire main building where I figured you would like check in and like, you know, the reception desk would be, that is like the main spa building. So there's some massage chairs in there or massage tables, not necessarily chairs. Um, the chairs are more for pedicures. I didn't in include any of those, just the tables. And then there's also the lockers so you can change into a towel. So I think those are the main requirements is just the spa items, like the tables or chairs and then the lockers. So hopefully I didn't miss anything, but if I did, then hopefully it's an easy fix. You might also be able to run this as a lounge too, if you prefer that lot type. Um, also like a park is also a really nice thing or just a swimming pool actually might work pretty well too. I think there's a lot of different options, but I really wanted the majority of the Sims to be adults and elders and hang out by the bar. Because <laughs> I mean, I think if you're going to a resort like this, you're mainly gonna be eating and drinking and lounging by the pool. <laughs> but you can stay the night here. We don't actually have functioning hotels in the game, so it won't cost your Sims anything. But if you want the, like the realistic gameplay of pretending that your Sims are actually spending money to come here, you could just hire a couple of masseuses. I think it's like a hundred and 20 something simoleons each time you hire a masseuse. So do that like maybe five or seven times. <laughs> and that might actually be the cost of what a hotel like this might be. Um, but of course, if you don't want to, then it's no big deal. Your Sims are gonna spend money if they're buying anything at the bar. Um, and then yeah, you could just stay in the hotel rooms and stay here as long as you would like for a vacation. So yeah, I really enjoyed this build. I thought it was so much fun. And like I said, I've been planning it for a long time. I actually attempted this build a few different times and I just really wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to lay it out, but I'm really happy that I finally figured it out and I'm able to share it with you guys because I think it's a lot of fun. But here you can see I am building the dance floor and the, the like band area. So I thought this would be really nice to have like live music and it's probably like local music too. So I thought that would be really fun. Um, I actually stayed in this pretty nice resort in Mexico and they had these um, live performances several times a week in like the main building. It wasn't outside, but it was all like local shows and like, like local music and stuff. And I thought it was really cool and they put on great performances. So I definitely wanted to include something like that. I've never stayed in a resort necessarily like this with like the different cabanas um, or the huts that you would stay in. I think this would be like a dream. <laughs> Hopefully someday that'll be a possibility. And yeah, I could just stay over the water and like literally 
open the door to your hotel room and jump in the ocean would be like amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, the place that I stayed at was actually really cool and really nice as well. And yeah, like I said, it was in Mexico and I really enjoyed it. So I did get a lot of inspiration for like decorating this build from that. I mean, of course, this is more like Pacific Island themed here in Sulani. So it's not necessarily like, you know, Mexican themed at all, but it's the only, well, I've stayed at two resorts <laughs> and that was the first one I ever stayed at. The other one was for my honeymoon in Jamaica and that was really nice too. So I, I got some inspiration from both of those, but yeah, I would like to stay in a place like this. I think that would be really nice because <laughs> those are both more like just hotels. <laughs> but anyways, um, here you can see I'm decorating the bar area. I decided to go with the tiki bars because I thought they'd be really fun to do and add a bit more like of that island feel to, to this hotel or resort and spa, whatever you want to call it. And so I thought that was really fun because I don't think I've ever really used them, maybe once or twice, but it's definitely been a long time. And it's actually really funny because when I was play testing this build, the Sims will actually stand way too close to it and the Tiki's will blow fire out of their mouths and basically just blow fire right into the Sims faces and they have no reaction to it. It's I don't know, I thought it was pretty humorous anyways. So um, yeah, you could definitely switch it out if that bothers you for whatever reason, but I thought it was pretty funny. And then here I'm just hanging up some string lights and I also put those um, barrels with the bottles. I was going to use a different um, bottle rack as you probably saw just a moment ago, but I switched it out for those ones because it just felt more like oceany and tropical and somewhat kind of nautical. And so yeah, I just thought it was really perfect for this build. But here you can see I'm moving on to decorating the hut. Each of the huts are exactly the same. Like I mentioned, I do end up copying them over. So it just feels a bit more like put together and like a hotel would. But I used the double bed that came with the Island Living Pack, the one with the like um, really tall headboard and the drapes. This one right here, I think it's so pretty. And I also end up putting a little kitchen area in, um, in the rooms as well with a mini fridge and a microwave because I felt like a place like this would definitely have some space for you to store some extra drinks. They probably have a few things available. Maybe a place like this would even be like all inclusive, like you would pay for like the total package and be able to eat and drink as much as you would like to while you're there. So that could definitely be a possibility, but um, yeah, I thought it would be really nice to have a little kitchenette. And then there's also a dining table, a dresser, simple decorations. Like I said, I didn't want it to be too cluttery or over decorated or too personalized because this is a vacation place and it wouldn't have all of your extra clutter. Of course you could definitely, if like, if you want it to feel like your Sims are really staying here, maybe bring some things along with you or just add a few decorations while you're here to make it feel like your Sims are actually staying there. Like things that you think that they would bring along with them on a vacation. I mean, that's totally a possibility if you would like to. And then also I built this little deck on the back that has a glass floor that you can see the ocean underneath of it. Um, they each have their own cabana with a couple of lounge chairs. I also end up putting a table in between the lounge chairs with that um, drink tray that we got from Spa Day so they could sit out there and have some like champagne like privately by the ocean in their own little cabana. I thought that would be really cool. I definitely see this as more of like a honeymoon vacation spot or yeah, I'm not really sure what else, but definitely a honeymoon is what I was imagining. Um, so yeah, I didn't put any kids beds in any of the rooms, but that would totally be an easy fix if you wanted to have like your family along on a vacation like this, or if you had a toddler with you, you could easily put a toddler bed in any of the rooms. Like all of these huts are pretty good size. Like if you wanted to even split it into two rooms, it's definitely a possibility. Um, but here you can see I'm making a little kitchenette. I think it's so cute and yeah, I just really had a lot of fun decorating it. It feels so natural and beachy with all of the woods. It might be a lot of wood for some of you guys, but I really, I really liked the way it looked and I didn't think that it would really have any other like wallpaper. I just felt like I needed to continue with the wood. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And then there's of course a bathroom. I really wanted to include a bathtub in each of the bathrooms. So you'll see me here in just a little while when I move on to it try to make room for a bathtub you probably could but the layout that I wanted to go for really worked better for a shower so yeah each of them have a shower it's not that big of a deal but I definitely thought taking a bath by the window and like looking out in the ocean would be really nice <laughs> but um, yeah, I just couldn't quite make it work but this is basically it for the entire interior and then over here you can see I'm moving on to the bathroom and I think the bathroom's really nice like I said I did want to include a bathtub but I couldn't quite make it work it's probably possible. 
I tried to make this extension, but it looked so weird once I added it and then added the roof. I don't know. I really wasn't liking it. So that's why I did that. And then there's a toilet, of course, but I made a separate room for the toilet. I thought that was kind of nice. And I just separated it with an archway. So you'll see that here in just a moment. And then there's, of course, a little bit of clutter. I added some stuff from Spa Day, like some rolled up towels and this little tray that looks like it comes with like complimentary shampoos and lotions and conditioners. Um, maybe even like a shave kit or some toothpaste. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, whatever else they might include um, in a place like this. So I thought that was pretty nice. But yeah, this is basically it for the entire interior. And then here in a moment, you will see me copy them over. I might go through and like switch up the colors or something. That's something that I'm considering. But I really want the layouts to be exactly the same. Um, but there I just added that table with the drink tray so you could sit and yeah, have your drinks under your private cabanas. And then here in the front, I just put a couple of extra chairs and a table with a plant just to kind of fill in the space. And maybe your Sims would like to sit here and just kind of like watch the other people like walk around. I know when I go on vacation, I definitely like to people watch. <laughs> I do that even when I'm not on vacation. So maybe some of your Sims like to do that too. And then here I'm just switching up the window because I realized it wasn't centered. So I did have to change the cabinets a little bit so they weren't covering the window, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And then I wasn't sure if I should put some window boxes with flowers because I felt like maybe that wouldn't be too realistic, but I thought it really added just like a nice extra decoration. So that's what I decided to do. And then over here you will see that I am starting to decorate the main building but then i quickly move on and do other things i was kind of all over the place i'm not exactly sure why i can't remember but um here you will see that i start copying over each of the huts and i also start having this glitch that you will see basically throughout the rest of the build and this is where the flooring disappears this is so frustrating this is a glitch that's been around in island living in build mode i haven't noticed it during regular gameplay when i was playtesting this build it didn't seem to be an issue so i think as long as you're not in build mode it shouldn't happen but yeah it's been a glitch ever since island living was released and it's so frustrating it can make placing furniture and things on floors really difficult and yeah it's just kind of annoying so hopefully it'll be fixed i'm sure they're working on it and so maybe it's just a little bit harder than um then you know maybe you would expect it to be or something so yeah hopefully it'll be fixed but it totally works like i said during gameplay it doesn't seem to be an issue it's only in build mode I've had it happen with a bunch of different builds and it doesn't really seem to be only larger builds because for a moment I was thinking that maybe it was because this build was so big. I think this is a 64 by 64 lot and so I was like maybe I'm adding too many items but I was really trying to be conscious about that with it being a hotel and you know not being overly decorated but I was also thinking about it not being like too heavy or taxing on a computer and so I don't think that's the issue because I think I've definitely had that problem with smaller builds. So I'm not really sure what causes it, but yeah, it was just kind of frustrating. But here you can see I'm moving on to this side, copying over the huts again. Um, yeah, it's not that exciting, I know, but I think it still looks really good. And these ones are kind of like flipped, so they're not exactly the same orientation. So these sides are just kind of like flipped around, um, which is kind of nice. They're a bit different. And yeah, like I said, I think I might actually go through and change the colors. I think I think that would be kind of fun and it would still be pretty realistic for a resort to have the same decorations in every room, but maybe not the exact same colors. So yeah, that could be pretty nice. <laughs> we'll see what I end up doing if you decide to download this. Maybe they'll be changed, maybe they won't. Oh, I actually forgot to mention, this is definitely for my save file. I can't believe I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but yeah, this will be in my save. So when I include the next update, um, in the future, this will be in my save, but if you don't want to download a future update or if you don't want to download my save at all, then I will have a link to the download in the description I do for each one of my videos. So you can just follow the link directly to the gallery and download it that way or just from the gallery, depending on how you want to do it. Um, but anyways, here I'm finally moving on to the main building. So in here is the reception area so you can check into your hotel room. Of course, this is not going to be functional because we don't have functioning hotels in the game. I'm really hoping that this is going to be a pack that's coming eventually. Maybe it's one of the packs that's coming this year. That would be really cool. I, of course, don't know anything, but I would love to see it. 
actually run like dine out i know dine out is one of those packs that's kind of glitchy but i really like it i love the ability to be able to place restaurants in any world that we want to and i think hotels should be the same like i am so happy that they didn't come with island living i know a lot of people wanted them to come in this pack but i think if they came with island living or a specific expansion pack then hotels would be limited to that world and i think that would be like a huge disappointment. I would be really sad about it because then you could only build hotels basically in one theme. Yeah, that would be so sad. And you could only go on vacation in that particular world. I think it would be like a huge disappointment. So I'm hoping that it comes like dine out and so we could place them wherever we would like to and then we could also run them or we could just visit them depending on your gameplay type. I think that would be really cool. So. Hopefully that will be a pack that's coming eventually, but since we don't have hotels, I really wanted it to, you know, look like a reception area. So I decided to use those check-in counters that we got with Dine Out. So it looks like there's a computer screen. It has like the extra decorations. So it feels more like a reception area. So I thought that was pretty nice. Um, you could also turn this main building into a restaurant and have like a kitchen in here. And then the Sims could probably just dine in the like, um, the, the tables outside that would be really cool that would also be a really nice lot type to run this as but i decided not to um but i think there's a lot of possibilities and there's no kitchen in here so you would definitely have to renovate it yourself if you wanted to do that but um i think it would be actually pretty nice um but here you can see i'm just working on the front of the building this was kind of a big struggle for me i really had no idea how to make it look like a hotel i looked at a ton of reference pictures on uh, Pinterest mostly, some on Google, and I really struggled with finding like the right look that I was going for, so I tried my best. I found the sign in the live edit objects from the Island Living Pack, and I think it looks pretty good. I think it works with the theme, and it looks like maybe the sign for the hotel, and the shape of it, I mean, it's not like the prettiest front, <laughs> but it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, the main of the attraction is definitely the back of the build, so I wasn't too concerned about it but I tried my best still. Um, but here you can see I'm moving on to the interior. In here, I knew I wanted to have like a couple of bathrooms. I wanted to have the massage tables, of course the reception area, but I really wasn't sure how I wanted to lay it all out, but I think it comes together pretty quickly. The first area that I decorate is the reception area. Um, this was kind of difficult, like behind the counters. I really wasn't sure what to include, but we have these really nice room dividers that came with Island Living, so I end up filling in the space with that because it looked like kind of like a nice feature. I thought about putting like a fountain, a like a different artwork. I thought about putting um, a fish tank. So you'll see me like use a lot of different items and try to figure it out, but I think it looks really nice. And then other than that, the decorations are pretty simple. There's some plants. There's a few chairs in here that I end up including. There's also some hallways that are pretty minimally decorated. Um, but here you can see I'm trying to place the fish tank. I thought it'd be really cool if you could see it through the like back entryway. And so I placed this window, which I think looks okay, um, but it had those shutters on the side and I didn't have like a great way to cover them up and I didn't have another window that really fit the placement of the fish tank, so it didn't quite work out, but I like the idea, so maybe I'll revisit it in like a future build or something, because I think it could have been pretty cool, but unfortunately, since we can't freely place windows, it was a bit tricky. So these are the room dividers that I was talking about, and I just replaced the sign again, because I think they would probably have the name of the hotel again, on the interior i felt like that was kind of realistic and then i also used those uh tiki wall hangings i thought those were really pretty and then these flower arrangements came from dine out so i thought that would be kind of nice to include them and then on either side of the building there's going to be two separate bathrooms and they're just single bathrooms with a sink and a toilet i don't think i included a shower or anything but there's definitely room if you feel like you need one um, but there I just placed a table with this nice statue on top of it. I thought that was pretty cool and it actually sized down to the perfect size to fit on that table. I need to play test it to make sure that it's not blocking your sims from walking through there at all. Actually, I don't think it is because my sims were able to go everywhere that I needed them to like perfectly. So yeah, I think, I think it doesn't cause any issues, but I will double check things before uploading it to the gallery, but I think everything should work just as it should. Um, even the glitching floor in gameplay, it doesn't happen, <laughs> I promise. At least in my experience, I shouldn't say I promise because maybe your game will be different, but in my experience, the floor stays there in gameplay. But here I'm quickly decorating the bathrooms. I wanted them to feel, you know, like a hotel bathroom. Um, or at least a single hotel bathroom. There's no stalls or anything, but it has the soap dispenser. And I think I used the hand towels 
at least I meant to. I may have forgot to place them, but if I did forget, then I will place them. Um, but here I'm placing the massage tables and I thought they'd be really nice to place on the balcony. I thought about putting some here in the interior, but I end up actually making this just like a hangout common room where you could socialize. I was actually really inspired by the place that I was talking about where I stayed in Mexico because they had this game room that had some pool tables and like some foosball and I think just some like chairs and TVs and stuff where you could like mingle with other people staying at the hotel too or just you know play games and have other activities so I thought that'd be kind of nice to have here. I didn't have like a huge room and of course we don't have pool tables but I decided to include um, a couple of couches. There's also a coffee table where I end up putting another drink tray so it could feel like you're getting complimentary champagne or something. And then I also included the um, don't make the llama table. So you can play some games. You could also swap it out for the foosball table or maybe someday we'll get pool tables and you could include that instead. Um, but here I'm making some rooms for the changing room. So these are the lockers that came with spa day. I think they're required to have on a lot if you wanna run it as a spa. So I definitely wanted to include them. And yeah, they actually worked in these rooms pretty nicely. It's not like the biggest changing room, but I figured you would just quickly change into your towel, store your clothes away, and then go get a massage and then quickly change back. So I wasn't too worried about it being pretty small. Um, but here you can see I'm decorating that common area. I decided to go with these couches that came from Island Living because I really love them. I love the wicker frame and the like the textures and like the colors I think are really pretty and I thought they worked nicely in this room. And then also here you can see there's the don't wake the llama table and yeah, it's pretty simply decorated. I do put up some artwork. I really like that painting that came from Get Famous, especially that one with like the ladies and it looks like there's some greenery around them. So it kind of felt like they were somewhere tropical. If we would have had another version that was like that one, but a little bit different so I could put two of them up there and they wouldn't be the exact same painting. I totally would have used them, but unfortunately the other ones don't have that like tropical feel like that one. So I didn't want it to be too repetitive, um, but over here I'm placing a couple of side tables in these massage areas and a couple of towels on top of them just to yeah, add some decoration. And then I put some plants around some wall hangings and just try to fill in any space that I thought looked empty or under decorated without making it too over decorated or personalized. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but there is added a couple of extra tables. I was having trouble placing them. And so I wasn't sure if they were going to work cause it was being a little bit glitchy, but thankfully when I play tested it, those totally worked and my Sim was able to sit at all the tables without a problem. And then here I finally finished the building. I added a couple of dormers and then now moving on to the landscaping. I used a couple of these objects. Um, the coral reefs and the different um, plants and stuff just to kind of make it feel a little bit more nestled in the surroundings just to add a few extra details and then for the landscaping I basically just tried to mimic the surroundings so it feels like it belongs here and I also wanted it to feel kind of overgrown and jungly like I wanted it to be like if you traveled to this place it would really be immersed in the island and it would be very tropical and there'd be a lot of plants and I probably added a little bit more plants than you would probably find on the beach, but it doesn't bother me. I think it looks really good. So hopefully you guys will like it too. And yeah, other than that, I do add a few decorations. Like you can see there's the tiki torches. I do have several of them around the build because I thought that would look really nice. And then also a couple of statues from the debug menu. And then that turtle crossing sign, which I think is super adorable. I think I've used it in just about every build that I've done here in this world because it's one of my favorite objects. But anyways, here you can see I'm just continuing with the landscaping, just adding a lot of greenery and some flowers and just trying to make it feel that much more lush and overgrown and in the landscape. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this build. We are coming up on the screenshots and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots too. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!